Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. A while ago, there was a gal who came in and she was making Christmas gifts for her family and they were Scrabble quilts and I thought this was such a good idea. And so when our high school this year for their homecoming, they decided that their theme was gonna be board games. I thought I'd make a Scrabble quilt for our high school and I thought I'd show you how to do that. Now she did a lot of figuring of, you know, what pieces to put in between the letters and things like that, but I'm here to tell you the easy way. So if you go online, and you type in Scrabble word games you can actually put in your own words and it will figure out a game placement for you once you get your game placement figured out um, you just put them on layer cake squares so it's like sewing a layer cake quilt together so to make this quilt what you're gonna need is a layer cake or two depending on how many words you have I have two layer cakes on this quilt behind me and I used this sand castle from Kona and it's all these colors of beiges because to me it looked like um, the board game on a Scrabble game. They're kind of all those different colored squares. So then next you're going to need whatever color your letters are going to be and stencils for your letters and some heat and bond so they'll stick on. And that's it. Then you just lay your squares out. You determine where your words are going to be and we're going to, and then you just iron those letters on and sew around them and sew up your quilt like a normal layer cake quilt. It's so cool and easy. So let me show you how I did these letters. So I, um, what I did was I took a little bit of heat and bond. The lumpy side I ironed right onto the fabric so the smooth side is up. And to do that, you just put it on and you just iron it. I've already ironed this one on here and it's just as easy as that. Then you're going to trace your letters, and when you trace your letters, you want to remember that you're going to trace them backwards. Now a T isn't going to matter, but if you have an R or an S or something like that, it'll matter. So I am going to just put this on here like this, and I'm going to put it on the edge so I can get as many as I can. I'm going to trace around it. Let me make sure you guys can see this well. So I'm just going to trace around this T here. And um, you can get stencils all over the place. Office supplies have them. You can download them on your computer. You can get different fonts. I mean, just all, you can have a lot of fun with this. So then you're just going to cut this out. And I like to lay out my squares first. And then, um, you know, make sure this, if you use these, this packet of squares where they're all kind of slightly different colors of beige, you just want to make sure that, you know, they have different colors all around. And then I'm going to lay my words on there and make sure it all works. You want to make sure your words are spelled correctly. I um, actually was getting ready to put mine together and I looked over and I realized that instead of play, I had pally, which didn't work at all. <laughs> so make sure they're spelled correctly, correctly. Have somebody look at that for you. And then, um, and then you just sew it together. So I've got my T done here. And I'm going to cut off these little edges of th threads. And I'm going to just going to take a square. And this square right here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this T on here like this. And it's going to be kind of a eyeballing it. So I'm going to put it right in the center. And you just peel the back of this off. I'm just going to roll this corner back and it'll lift that paper up. And see it just comes off and it's got this sticky side. I'm going to put that on here like this, right in the center. And then I'm just going to hold my iron on it. I didn't worry about measuring. I mean, if you want to be really make sure that you're 100% accurate, you can. But generally the eyeballing is pretty good. So I'm just going to make sure this sticks on here real nice. You mostly want to press that down and not scoot the iron around because you don't want it to shift. And then you can sew an edge around it. You can straight stitch around this edge. You can do a zigzag or you can do a blanket stitch. I'm going to do a blanket stitch, so I'm going to go right over here to the sewing machine. I'm going to use a thread that you can see. Normally I would match my thread completely, but I'm going to use this thread that you can see. And I'm just going to blanket stitch along this edge. And then I turn it at the corners and it's just going to stitch along and hold that down. And then we're going to keep going around the corner. At the corners you want to stop and make sure you don't want your little um, stitch to go in the wrong direction. So I just like to watch mine and make sure it's going the right way. 
And you can go, once you get the hang of this, you can go pretty quick along here because it's just like straight sewing. I always slow down when I get to that corner and zoom the rest of the time. And this right here is going to come, there we go. I like to put my needle down, make sure it's actually right down where I want it to be. Turn. We're down the home stretch now. And this one is going to come along the bottom. And one more stitch. And right up this side right here. And we're done. All right. So that's how you attach your letters. And then the fun part comes in just laying it out so that you can see, ex you know, you can just see your puzzle coming together. So here's our little T. You can see it. And you can see it there. So then it's just a matter of laying out your quilt and sewing these big squares together. You know, so if you had a word that went this way, you know, you'd come over and then another one's going to come over here. So I'm going to have uh, Annie come right back over here and hold up this quilt so you can see some more of these words. These are kind of fun. This is my little granddaughter, Annie, and we are the Hamilton Hornets. That's why there's hornets in the corner. Here, lift this up. See how you can see there's Hamilton and PHS, that's Penny High School. Right here it says, it says when, and this is the Hornets, we're the Hamilton Hornets. So it just shows a great amount of school spirit and fun, and I think that it would be really fun to do a Scrabble quilt with family names in it, like my friend is doing for her family for Christmas. So have fun with this, and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a Scrabble quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.